art students perform color studies to examine how colors interact with each other on a canvas and how they are affected by other artistic principles. But color studies are important in fashion as well for the same reasons and same principles. Today we are performing a fashion color study to see how the colors beige and black interact together. We will look at things such as lighting, balance, textures, pattern, to see how the colors interact and are affected by those and what sort of emotions beige and black evoke. And from the outset, I will say that at least in my book, there's something inherently chic about beige and black paired together. It has a very soothing feel to it. So there's the emotion that the two colors convey. But here we're taking beige and black and adding a tiny print to the color combination. So it's a very slim black and white striped tee underneath here. And it adds a bit of visual depth and interest to the outfit. This outfit is an example of how texture interacts with beige and black with the color pairing. So you may not be able to see it in the video, but the blazer here is a linen blend. So there's a slight bit of a bumpy texture to it. Otherwise, the black dress underneath is sleek and then the slightly bumpy texture of the blazer offsets the sleekness. Here again, we are combining and contrasting textures. So the trench coat, the beige trench coat is sleek and has a bit of a shine to it. Then we have the pattern of the stripe contrasted with the roughness of the denim. This outfit is another example of how textures combine and contrast within the color palette. So the dress is a linen blend dress. It has a bit of a bumpy texture to it, but the sweater has a soft and cozy feel to it. And then again, on the black cap of the toes, it's adding just a bit of visual depth and interest to the outfit and breaking up that otherwise color block look. And ladies, you know that I use prints sparingly, but here, the satin slip skirt is very sleek and the tiny white dot on the pattern adds more interest to the outfit. And again, keep patterns to a minimum because it ages the outfit and dates it. But here I love how the colors interact with the small dot pattern. Again, I'm adding another texture to it with the trench coat. It has a bit of a sleek texture to it. And in this outfit, we have the black block of the blazer and the beige block of the dress. And I thought it was important to break that up with the black cap toes on the shoes here. This outfit is another example of textures. So the soft and cozy sweater with the sleek and flowy black pants. It creates a lovely silhouette here, but we can add some interest to it by adding this crossbody bag which has a bit of a wicker texture to it. It's not scratchy if you're wondering. And go a step further with the scarf. Now the scarf is within the color palette, black and beige, and it just adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of dimension to the outfit. This outfit is an example of what I call tonal on top. So the jacket and blouse or sweater are the same color with a different color pant. I love 
the chic feeling, again, that's an emotion, the chic feeling that this outfit conveys. It's very polished, very elegant. Going back to the soft and fuzzy texture of the cashmere cardigan with the sleek feeling of the travel dress, adding a little bit more texture here with the crossbody bag, and again, a little more depth and interest, some dimension to this with the printed scarf. Now I want you to think of what sort of emotions this conveys when you see this outfit. Is it balanced? Is it proportional? Is it soothing? Or is it disjunctive? And in this outfit, I'm creating a silhouette with the all black dress underneath. There are no breaks in the dress, it's one piece. It creates a nice silhouette with a jacket paired over it. And again, these are different textures here. A sleek dress and a slightly bumpy blazer with the rough texture of the handbag. And I have to tell you that I do not love what's coming next. In hindsight, I should have shortened this scarf up because the proportions are off. The outfit looks heavy and that conveys a feeling of a matronly look. I should have tied this scarf and made it a little shorter. And here with the beige trench coat paired over top, again, it adds to the heaviness. Simply tying up the scarf and shortening it would have balanced the proportions here. Again, another art principle applied to fashion. Again, we're going to talk balance and symmetry with this outfit. While I love the cozy feeling of these linen crop pants, they are a bit boxy and heavy on bottom. So adding the black cardigan on top balances out the look. It distributes some of the weight of the look to the top instead of it all being on the bottom. And here we're going to look at a different shade of beige. This is somewhere between light beige and ivory in the jeans and in the cardigan. But look how nicely it pairs with the tiny stripe of the t-shirt. Now black is generally a heavy color and adding the white stripe to the t-shirt lightens up the heaviness of the black shirt. This here, by going with that lighter black, if you will, creates a look of balance. Again, black is generally a heavy color, so it needs to be offset. Here, the black creates a silhouette underneath, which creates a look of link. And then by adding the blazer over top, we've added dimension and balance. Same thing here, the black appears a little heavy on bottom, and we're going to balance that by adding the scarf. It adds dimension and interest to the outfit, a little bit of added texture with the handbag. So tell me in the comments below, give me your thoughts on the beige and black color pairing together. Is there an outfit that stands out to you as being particularly balanced or cohesive in this color palette? I look forward to hearing from you.